Hello guys, welcome to another lesson of our QuickBooks tutorial series. In this lesson, we will discuss how to record the revenue process. Let's go! If you are new to this channel, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell to get updated on our QuickBooks and MS Excel lessons. The revenue process or Order to cash process are business activities from accepting customer's order to collecting cash from customers. This process is the transaction between the company and its customers. In the home page, the revenue process is located here. From taking the customer's order, issue an invoice, and then receiving cash from customer. The create sales invoice form is for credit sales processing and the create sales receipts is for cash sales processing. To record the credit sales transaction, you need to record first the customer's order. Click the sales order icon. Like the purchase order form, the sales order form is a non-posting form because it cannot affect the balances of the inventory sales, cost of goods sold, and accounts receivable. It only set aside the number of items ordered by the customer so that the item cannot be ordered by the other customers. So are the customer, for example, Jordan Israel, then the date should be October 10, then the ISO number is 1, then select an item, engine oil gasoline, 1 liter. Then enter the quantity to be ordered, for example, 12. Another item, oil filter gasoline, 12. So as you can see at the right side, is the customer's details there about their open balance and their credit limit then click save and close go to the list item list the engine oil gasoline has a total item on hand of 100 However, only 88 are available for sale to other customer, since the 12 were already on sales order. Same with the oil filter. After recording the customer's order, the next process is to deliver the items. Then, issue a sales invoice. To create an invoice, go to home page, then click create invoices. Select a customer, Jordan Israel. A new window will pop up, available for sales order window. This window is the list of all open or unprocessed sales order for this customer. Click the sales order you want to process. In this case, the sales order number one, then click OK. Then you need to specify what items to be included in the sales invoice. If you want to include all items or if you want to select specific item. In this transaction, include all items in the sales invoice by selecting create invoice for all of the sales order. Then click OK. In these transactions, we need to select the sales representative. However, we don't have a sales representative in our form. To add the sales rep, we need to use the template we just created from our previous lesson. Click template, then select sales invoice. Then specify the date, October 11. Then the invoice number, for example, SI 
zero zero one. Then select the terms. One percent ten net thirty. Then the date. The due date. Okay. Then our sales rep. Board Pasai. Okay. Then you can also select the the courier here. For example, UPS. Okay. Then save and close. Okay, yes. The transaction will create a journal entry, debit to accounts receivable, and credit to sales. Then another entry is debit, cost of goods sold, and credit inventory. To check the posting of the transaction, go to chart of accounts. Then, we have an accounts receivable balance of 17,400 and our inventory also reduced by the cost of that item. Okay, then go to list. The balances of engine oil, gasoline, and oil filter are both 88 and uh, sales order balances goes back to zero then go back to the home page then click sales orders then find the sales order number one by clicking the previous button so as you can see a marking of invoice in full here it means that this sales order is was already processed. You can also record credit sales without using the sales order. Okay, let us save and close. Then create an invoice. Then select a customer, Molina Romel. Then click a date. Okay. October 11, then the item, good boy tar R16, then enter the quantity, then, then another item, EP ring R16, then. Okay, then the terms is 210, net 30, then the sales representative, Richard Alfuerto, then the shipment date is October 12, via DHL. Okay, then save and Close. Okay, the next process is to receive the payment. Okay, to record the cash receipt, click Receive Payments form. Then select a customer, Jordan Israel. So this is the details of his balances or his balance. The uh, invoice number here is sales invoice 001. Then the balance is 7,000, 17,400. So enter the amount. Say he made a partial payment of 10,000. Then select the payment date. Example, October 18. Then reference. OR001 
then select the sales invoice so if Jordan Israel has two or more sales invoice it will be reflected here okay so since there's only one transaction for this customer so let's select this um, loan transaction then select the payment method example cash then click save and close you can also send a statement of account to your customer so to create a statement of account click statements then select the statement date for example um, October 31 then the statement period October 1 to October 31 okay then select one customer okay for example Molina Romel or Jordan Israel then click preview okay so this will be your statement of account so to print this one you can use the PDF print PDF okay print then enter a file name Jordan SOA over 2020 okay then save then select as type PDF document and save then go to your file so this is your statement of account so the balance forwarded zero then your invoice date is October 11 then the, there is a payment made on October 18 ok 10,000 then the running balance is 7,000 400 then go back to okay so the last topic is recording cash sales go back to the home page then click create sales receipts then select a customer Statum JSON then the date for example October 14 then select an item for example a group change oil promo Okay, then click save and close to track the balance of the customers go to customers then customer center okay so these are the balances of the customers for Jordan Israel 7400 and for Molina Romel is 280 and these are the details of the transaction for Jordan Israel lastly the cash collected will be posted on a temporary account called undeposited fund to so go to chart of accounts so this is the uh, account undeposited fund which has a balance of 12,223 in our next lessons we will deposit this account to the bank Okay, so that's all for now. If you have questions, just type it in the comment section. Have a good day.